Hi, I'm Rick Rasby, Beef Specialist at the University of Nebraska. Today I'd like to talk about uh, corn stock residue grazing. And what I have in front of you today is I have a, a number of bushel baskets. In the first bushel basket, I have a bushel of corn. Weighs approximately 56 pounds. In the other baskets, I have the amount of residue produced from that bushel of corn. So I have a basket. This basket here, I have stems. In this basket here, I have uh, cobs. And in these two baskets, I have husk and leaf. The amount of husk and leaf that's produced from a bushel of corn, which weighs about uh, 56 pounds. So from that bushel of corn, I get about 18 pounds of stems. I get about 5.8 or 6 pounds of cobs. And I get 16 pounds of husk and leaf on a dry matter basis. Now cattle are selective grazers when they graze a residue field, a corn residue field. They'll select the corn first, followed by the husk and leaf, and finally the cob and the stock. And we know that there's not a lot of corn left out in the fields unless there's been some kind of damage or something to the stock. And so the primary ingredients out there in a crop residue field are going to be stem, cob, and husk and leaf. And again, cattle are selective grazers. They actually want to select the most nutritious and palatable really the most palatable component of that stock residue field, and that would be the husk and the leaf. Now we understand how important it is to leave some of this residue back out in the field so that it adds to the organic matter of the soil and, and therefore adds something back to that soil so that uh, as we take a look at how that might impact the, uh, the, uh, the soil components. And so we know cattle are selective grazers. And we know that by a number of experiments. We know the pounds of residue produced from a bushel of corn. And so our recommendation would be is that we want to focus on the husk and the leaf. And in fact, our recommendation, which is in this basket right here, the fifth basket here, is about eight pounds of husk and leaf. So there's 16 pounds of husk and leaf produced per bushel of corn. We want to target cattle to eat about eight pounds of husk and leaf. And so we can do that if we know the number of acres, the yield in those acres, the weight of the animal, and, uh, and we can calculate the number of days that we would leave a set of cattle in there to remove about eight pounds of husk and leaf per bushel of corn. And if you go corn soybean rotation, we don't see any depression in yield in those soybeans that following year. Uh, we also don't see any depression in the corn yield the year after that. And so we feel that if you graze according to our recommendations, that you'll not see a, a reduction in subsequent yield of both soybeans and of corn. Again, we think in Nebraska, it's a, a farming and, uh, and livestock are in a symbiotic relationship. We think one of the ways that uh, at least cow-calf producers can, can lower uh, annual cow costs is to utilize corn residue in, as part of their nutrition program.